done a lot of mods on this channel and it probably is the easiest one. You gotta get you some. What is up guys and welcome back. Check it out today, I got a mod for you. You can't pass it up. It doesn't cost that much. It takes no time to install. It, it's easy peasy and it's gonna change the way your Jeep looks. Let's go with some new brake lights. LED conversion, can't beat that. Let's go. Everybody's seen this factory style. It's, it, there's nothing wrong with it. It's nice and clean and stuff, but it's got the old fashioned incandescent bulbs in there. The thing I'm most excited about is the reverse light, which I'll show you in a minute. I do have these aftermarket little cages to keep it from breaking and stuff. I'm not gonna put those over to new ones because they look really good and they're so affordable. If I mess one up, I can just replace it like that. Now the kit we're gonna replace it with is the Audexon LED kit. Everything in it is LED, as you can see, and they have all different kinds of styles you can pick from. These will run you about 160 bucks to 129, depending on the style you go with. I got the C, it lights up in a C, and it's got awesome backup lights, which I'll go over with again in a minute. But the best thing is they're plug and play, they fit perfectly to your stock application. Literally four Phillips head screwdrivers come out, this goes in, plug it in, that's all there is to it. Enjoy your new product. Only thing in this case you'll need to be careful with is the Euro versions of the Jeep have a different style plug than the American version. So make sure you read that it is the American version you're buying. Little look, sure is pretty. And these do feature 20 watt LED backup light. 20 watts LED is equivalent to about 2,500 lumens compared to that little four watt incandescent bolt that's on there now. Built in installation plug and play, like I said, right there. Uh, they're 6,000K color, if you're into that kind of stuff. They've got a 50,000 hour lifespan. They're certified DOT, and they have a breather hole in the back, so they're not just some cheap made thing that's gonna go out and overheat on you in no time. They're built well, they feel solid. Time to put them on. Let's go ahead and back out this uh, factory one here. Could use a power tool, be a lot quicker, but hey. You'll notice uh, the new one comes with two pre-installed little screws. Those little white spacers you see are just part of that little cage I had on there. Should wiggle right off. And we can go ahead and unclip that factory light. If you take this here and you turn it over, you'll see a little channel there. And you look down in there, you see a little clip. So if you take this standard screwdriver up on top of the clip and push down, it pulls that little tab down and you can just pull it right out. Just like that fitment test. Let's see how good the other one fits compared to the stock OEM. Can't really tell, but there's pre-installed screws on the outside part of it. Like I was talking about. Perfect. There's two little tabs there. I'm gonna get those tabs fed right on the other side of that hole. Make sure your wires don't get pinched. Start trying to find a factory hole for this guy to go into. Already got it. Look at that body line, no gaps at all. Fits perfect before and after. Now, the other one, you got one more harness in the way. But it has nothing to do with tail light, so I'm going to show you how to do that. It's no big deal. Trust me. Let's go. When you pull your left one off, you're going to have a little bit more wiring. That's because you got this guy here, which has nothing to do with this tail light. So I just slid this little piece off of that right there. And then I'm, when I'm done, I'm going to zip tie that real nice up in there. This clip out. Same method as before. That one's ready to replace. This is really here just for like an access point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of group these all up, send a zip tie on the bottom and then the top. That's just gonna keep that thing from sagging down. Easy way to find which is up and down on these things is if you got a little dot SAE symbol on the bottom. Right, 
There we go, nice little click. Shore it up, true fitment test right here. Let's see if this one goes in as easy as the other one did. Oh yeah, look at that. Didn't have to do anything, went right in the hole. Uh. Don't forget with these things, it's snug but not tight. You don't want to crack it. You'll see it kind of go and seat against the Jeep. It's going in, going in, going in. It's seated. I'll give it a couple more little turns there. Easy as that. On a level of one to 10, how easy is that? If you can use a screwdriver, it's a one. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Everything fits so good. Literally, just a couple minutes. I'm excited about those 2,500 LED lumens. We're gonna find out what they do in about an hour and a half. Close up shot for you this side. Again, you can see the fitment is just spot on. That thing is as snug as a bug all the way around. Got two little lights here. Reflector here. Can't wait to see them. For 160 bucks or 130, depending on the style you go with. Man, you can't go with an upgrade. It's as easy and impactful as one of those sets right there. Get you some. Wait for it to get dark to show you what they look like in the dark. Let's see what she looks like. That's what I'm talking about. Let me bring this back here in the darkness here. There's the Jeep. I'm gonna put it in reverse and watch the difference. Heck yeah. Hey guys, that's all I have for today. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, check out the people on the bottom of my channel called Bad Mofos. Hours and hours of fun. Got about 150 videos on there. Go check it out. There's all kinds of stuff you'd like, especially if you're into this Jeep kind of stuff. And then I've got some other stuff planned really soon. If you notice, I got the little D-hooks on the bumper in the back. They're kind of rusted. I already powder coated the ones in the front myself at home. I'm going to show you how to do it yourself at home as well on those back ones here soon. Make sure to swipe right on my Tinder. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Later. Peace. Just kidding. No Tinder. Stay away. Stay away from me. Porter, stay away, Porter.